Hey all, this is just up again. Uh, I'm going to go into the review in a moment. Uh, I first wanted to show this. Um, I got quite a bit lucky. Uh, I went to a store chain named Blocker here in the Netherlands. They had some clearance on some of the toys they had. Um, as far as I understand it, it's pretty much like Walmart or uh, Target is, but um, yeah, a lot smaller. Anyway, they had toys on sale and well, despite me saying I'm not ever going to get this particular toy for 5 euros, I really couldn't be bothered to pass them up. It was probably one of the few of the original movie that I hadn't gotten yet, so yeah. 5 euros for uh, Scorpionock, oh, not, not too bad. Uh, now that I have them on, toy, on hand, I still think it's a quite bad toy. Uh, I probably am going to try out if he works uh, with that special gimmick thingy, uh, even on uh, uh, movie evac that I got, because I don't have any blackout. But I'm probably going to toy with that at some point. And for 3 euros, I got Armorhide, which I think is an excellent repaint of his Cybertron self. Uh, so I was quite pleased to find this guy for 3 euros. So yeah, of course I wasn't going to ditch him or going to pause on him. Now I actually am thinking perhaps I should have, because there was another one for 3 euros, perhaps I should have taken another one along. So I could try and paint it orange to make myself a pipes. Or uh, a pipes. Uh, damn it. What's his name? Uh, pipes and Huffer. I think. Yeah. Anyway, on to the actual review. Today, as says the title, I'm going to go into Animated Megatron. But this is not the toy I'm going to review. I'm going to go into this guy. Yes, surprise. I left it out on purpose. I'm going into the activator. Um, so far, I really uh, like most of the toys for animated. Uh, the leader class is fairly good. Not, not my most favorite one. I like most of the Luxus more than the leader class Megatron. But... Uh, this one, yeah, is good value for money if you don't want to waste uh, the money that the leader costs. Uh, overall quality of this guy, yeah, it's like most of the activators. Uh, it could have been better, but for its gimmick and what it does, it works pretty well. Um, actually, the only minor thing that's really about it is this that he has a far tinier gun which can't be detached so that's prob probably the only downside to this figure that I know about uh, that, that's really bothersome and yeah that's not saying a lot um, to be honest yeah he isn't the greatest but uh, he's about average for activators he doesn't really fit uh, or stick together too well at the rear you have to pack this together and it doesn't really want to stay together at least on mine but it m might already be play wear because I remember him sticking together a bit better and of course like most activators transformation is ludicrously simple as you can see on flip and he's pretty much done uh, you straighten out his arms and spread his legs and there you got him in his robot mode um, surprisingly you can actually turn his hands but uh, they are actually loose so that's quite cool they have holes in them but he has no weapon that he can actually hold in his hands which is too bad uh, these lights don't detach and this cannon can't be moved 
but otherwise he looks pretty fine. Uh, I think overall his looks in this robot mode is quite good. He, uh, due to the weight, lower weight, he's actually better poseable than his leader class version. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's see a bit more light here. So, moment. actually have a bit better lighting on him. Uh, I love the head sculpt, it's quite good, as you can see. The the Decepticon symbol is actually raised up, it's not a sticker or just a tamper graph, it's actually raised. Uh, so yeah, overall he looks quite cool, he is quite spot on to his uh, leader class version. And just the black chin part, uh, which I could probably paint over. Uh, moment. And one uh, tiny touch up later with a permanent marker, I made him look a bit more like his bigger self. So just a minute of work and ah, presto, done. Uh, so yeah, I think it's pretty good value for money. Uh, so yeah, uh, is there anything against getting him? No. Nope. He's good value for money if you don't have the leader class yet and don't want to spend the money for the leader class. Get him. If you already have him, still get him because he's a fairly good figure. Uh, as I said, he can do quite good posing. And yeah, he can do the perceptor kick with some effort. Oh! That's for you, Tommy. Uh, anyway, this was Yusef. See you next time.